night and please keep all of our families involved and all of our first responder personnel in your thoughts and prayers. But right now, our main focus, all of us should be, and across this country, should be our thoughts and our prayers should be with the members that have been involved, the family members that are out there, the family members that are in the hospital. Certainly a sad start to the weekend after a tragedy strikes at a popular vacation spot. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kevin Kelly. 17 people ages 1 to 70 are dead after a duck boat capsized on Table Rock Lake near Branson, Missouri. There were 31 people on board. 14 people managed to survive. Authorities say it happened yesterday evening during severe storms that produced winds of up to 60 miles per hour and waves, as you can see here, reaching six feet high. Tonight, we have team coverage on this event. We begin with Fox 16's Price McKeon, who's joining us live from Missouri with more. Price. Kevin, dozens, if not hundreds of people have been stopping by here to place flowers on cars just like this one here. You're watching it right now. We've met people who said they are family of some of those victims. Some are friends. Some are even strangers that continue to place flowers, cards on cars that appear to have not have moved since this tragedy. Instead of tears of joy, tears of sadness, sorrow, grief, tear through this tourist town. People of all ages have shown up to show respect to the 17 people who died less than 24 hours Hours ago, when the duck boat capsized the one they were in. When we met a couple from Russellville who says his family planned to go out on the duck boat that sank. It was just kind of hard to believe because I, I looked at a video of it. One, one uh, there was a uh, somebody took a video of it, and, and to see those waves and and how high they was, and that little old boat trying to get through there. Well. It was just devastating. I couldn't, I couldn't stand it. We've learned a local church plans to hold a vigil tonight at 9 p.m. to pray for everyone impacted by this. Officials have not released the victims' names yet, so we don't know how or if these cars are connected. But now, these cars have some type of connection with those flowers and cards. Again, you're looking at it. This is what it's looked like throughout the day, all afternoon, people coming by and paying their respects to those people. Again, tonight, the vigil, local, a vigil at a local church plans to start at 9 p.m. We plan to be there to show you how this community is coming together to pray for everyone involved. Reporting live in Branson, Missouri, Price McKeon, back to you.